Okay, hello again. Uh, we're going to be doing another beer today out of California. We did one out of California last time around. This one, uh, again, from the northern part of the state, uh, a little bit north of the North Coast Brewing Company. This is the Mad River Brewing Company. This is out of a town called Blue Lake, uh, California, about 300 miles or so north of uh, San Francisco. As you can tell, I already poured it into a glass. I'm just kind of trying to, to kind of get the temperature a little bit more to 55 degrees, which is what you're supposed to drink this beer, and I just put it out of the uh, refrigerator just a little while ago, so I'm kind of just letting it sit. I already poured it out. Usually I open it up and pour it out, uh, but in this case, I didn't. This is, is an American barley wine, which is basically more of a heavy hitter kind of beer. In this case, this American barley wine is only 9.1% alcohol by volume. Uh, usually American barley wines range somewhere between 8% and 15%-ish. Uh, or so. This one's a little bit on the lower scale. This is a 2008 uh, vintage uh, barley wine, and it's called John Barleycorn, as a matter of fact. And when I think of John Barleycorn, uh, I usually think of the band Traffic and their album, uh, John Barleycorn Must Die, which I believe is their fourth studio album or something like that. So I'm thinking in the back of my mind, and I don't really know much about the history. I didn't really brush up too much on uh, Mad River's uh, history or the I mean, why they named beers the way they named them, but I'm just kind of thinking maybe it's probably a, the Traffic album. I could be wrong, though. They may have never heard of it, as far as I know. American barley wines are a little bit different than English barley wines, and if you remember way back when we reviewed uh, Duck Rabbit's barley wine, uh, Duck Rabbit's barley wine is in the style of the English barley wine, which uh, usually means a little more malty uh, mixed with the hops, and a little bit of more full flavor. The American barley wine, not so much maltiness, but a ton of hops, and it basically is one of the most potent beers out there, uh, no matter what the alcohol content is. is usually uh, uh, one of the, uh, a lot of people will say it's one of the most, or more dr non-drinkable beers, uh, one of the least drinkable beers uh, out there. Um, a lot of people say uh, it's an aperitif, and if you go to a restaurant, you order a barley wine, usually they'll sell, they'll sell it to you, and uh, maybe a six ounce glass. It's not usually a beer that many places sell in 12 ounces or 16 ounces for that matter. Uh, this, however, is in a 12 ounce bottle, so I'm going to drink the whole darn thing, I think. I uh, love American barley wines. It's one of my favorite styles. I always loved Old Horizontal from uh, Victory a Brewing Company, uh, and I'm sad to see that it, apparently they're no longer going to brew it. At least they're putting it on hold for a little while, but hopefully that'll change one of these years. Let's grab a whiff of the John Barleycorn Barley Wine Ale, and I'm definitely getting that coppery smell. It's very uh, reminiscent of Old Horizontal. Very coppery smell. As you can see, it's a very, very dark brown uh, barley wine. The American barley wines can be light brown. They can be uh, uh, dark brown. This is definitely a darker brown barley wine. A nice head on it still, um, which usually tells me that the alcohol content isn't too unbelievably strong. That's where the head would dissipate pretty quickly like it did with the uh, old ale that we had uh, last go-around from North Coast. So, very good smell. Not getting much of the malt, but definitely getting a hoppiness to it. And we'll grab a taste. Mm. I love this taste. And this is why I love American uh, barley wines. It's a full coppery taste, and by coppery it might not sound very appetizing to you, but it, it cleanses your palate to the point where, you know, if you're having dinner, or you're having a nice dinner, and you want a drink that's not a cocktail, you want a beer before dinner, and you're at a nice place that sells barley wine, this is, this is to me, the aperitif. Um, it's, it's just very full. It will cleanse your palate. It's not like an IPA that's going to really kind of linger there, although IPAs are good with food too, but some beers actually linger. I don't think barley wines really do. Barley wines get you in the mood to eat. So this uh, barley wine, which is, and I've read some pretty not great reviews on John Barleycorn, and I, I got to say, I can't agree with them. Um, I still like Old Horizontal, I think, better, but maybe that's just nostalgia reasons, but this is a very good barley one. I'd give this uh, an 8.5 out of 10.